Online video is about to explode in ways that we can't even fully comprehend right now. But while businesses and brands may think it's enough to just upload video content, there's actually a lot more that's necessary to succeed in this rapid area of growth. Did you know that up to 85% of videos on Facebook are watched without sound? And did you know that it's harder than ever to build a loyal fan base on sites like Facebook and YouTube? Users are relying on platforms like these, more than individual channels and accounts, to find things to watch. That means that most people will never make it to your Facebook or YouTube profile and thus not get to know your brand. Which is why it's time, in this moment, to think about ways you can build your brand into your videos. No matter how big or small your brand or budget is, there are some simple elements that you can add to your videos to make them look more professional, more engaging, and most importantly, on brand. Tip number one, include your logo. Pick a corner, any corner, and put your logo in it. Don't make it too big, don't make it too small, and don't put it too close to the edge of the screen. I usually like to put logos in the bottom right of the screen because I interpret things from left to right, and that way the logo isn't the center of attention, but it's also there when you need to identify where the video has come from. Tip two, include eye-catching captions. If this is going to be on social media, you need to think about what your video will look like when it auto-plays. Animated captions are a great way to grab the user's eye and communicate what the video is about, all without the user's sound needing to be on. Videos that do this best take this element into account when they're writing the script. That way, what you're saying will be mirrored in what's being shown on screen, and just makes sense. Tip three, include lower thirds. A lower third is a graphic that typically appears in the lower third of your screen. It's a visual convention most prominently used in television news, usually to identify a person speaking on camera. But in the age of auto-playing video, it's also a great tool for sharing information without a user's sound necessarily being on. The funny thing about lower thirds is that they don't necessarily have to be low. The growing necessity of having text in video has meant that lower thirds are now appearing all over the place. And depending on how attention-grabbing an editor wants them to be, they may sometimes appear in the center of the screen, following the movement of a subject, or sometimes right on top of a subject's face. When used well, they can be visually engaging and strengthen the point that you're making. Tip number four, treating these elements like a visual embodiment of your brand. If successful, your video will do more than just serve the immediate need to share information. It will establish a familiarity and, if the content's good, a trust in your brand that'll stop users from scrolling the next time they see your content in their newsfeed or homepage. Use your company style guide or develop a new one with video in mind and make sure that the colors, fonts and the general style of the assets you use are part of the world of your brand. Where to get this stuff? What's important to note is that you don't need to be an expert video editor or graphic designer to include these elements in your next upload. Most of the world's biggest YouTubers and brands buy their graphics packages pre-made, and a lot of them get them from Envato. So as we head into this era of video being more prominent than ever, think of the elements that'll make your next video stand out in tomorrow's newsfeed. Thanks for watching and remember to subscribe to us on YouTube, like us on Facebook, and for more of this kind of content, go to invato.com slash blog.